Welcome in this week Technical Tuesday with NXCAM. Today I will talk about main advantages of using ISV in NX. ISV stands for Integrated Simulation and Verification. It is already integrated inside your NXCAM environment, so you don't need to use any external software for NC code simulation. Today I will focus on simulating milling machine tools and next week I will cover also mill turns. At the beginning I'd like to stress that I'm talking about simulation which is driven based on real NC code, the same which will be executed at your machine tool. That's why it is important to make sure that in your simulation control panel you select Machine Code Simulate instead of Toolpath Simulate. Because if we will run a simulation based on Toolpath, it will look like this. Ok, it was too fast. We can't see how the tool approached our part. Let's reduce simulation speed and try again. Still, we don't see much. So, let's try it step by step. As you can see, toolpath-based simulation doesn't show us anything about tool change and approach to the part. And in NC program display window, we don't see NC code, but just coordinates of each toolpath segment. Now let's do this the right way, so I will switch to Machine Code Simulate. On the right we can see NC code which is being executed. When we get to M6, virtual machine is executing tool change. Also we can clearly see how the tool will approach our part, so we can make sure if it will be done safely or not. And here is simulation of entire operation. As there was M0 in NC code, simulation also stopped. With ISV we can define our virtual machine as precisely as we like. In this example we can see entire ATC together with tools in it and detailed tool change simulation. In this operation I'm expecting a collision. And yes, ISV has warned me that two objects, spindle and table, are in clearance violation. Very close, but yeah, clearance is clearance. When we continue simulation, we can see that those objects are actually colliding. Safe clearance distance, which we saw previously, can be set in Machine Tool Navigator in Simulation Settings. It was set to 1mm. 
we can define separate clearance distances between each machine component. To avoid collision, I will simply use longer tool for this operation. And I can run simulation again. Notice that we can find problems, fix them and simulate NC code again very quickly without leaving our CAM project. With second example, I would like to mention a couple key features of ISV interface. In simulation control panel, we can switch on and off 3D material removal display and CAM toolpath display. We can do the same with tool trays, which is real trays basing on NC code and machine tool kinematics. Machine status shows us information about position of each NC axis in relation to their limits. If the limit will be reached, simulation will show us an alert, which I will show later. In execution view, we can see a lot of detailed information about current machine state, like current spindle speed and direction, current feed rate, CATCOM status, coolant status, and much more. Together with machine status, it gives us similar overview as we can see on real CNC controller display. And here we have NC program view, where currently executed NC code is displayed. Last example shows us a little different machine configuration with horizontal spindle and A and B rotary axis. We will simulate two basic 5-axis operations. Part is positioned on the edge of the table, so we can catch axis limit. First operation should be executed correctly, And with second one, we are warned about Z-axis limit. Last one is 3 plus 2 milling operation with cycle 800. With very simple modification of NC output, we can execute this operation with opposite rotation of the table. With this example post-processor, we can do it by using UDE, and toolpath stays as it was.
The only difference is in NC code. In case of Cnumeric, this is a single parameter which decides which rotary solution will be chosen. And as a result, our operation will be executed with part upside down. Thank you for watching. See you in next Technical Tuesday with NXCAM, where I will continue this topic for complex Milton machines.